It is uh, Sunday, April 18th, so not at the boat because we're done there. Uh, Rentners is still doing a couple things for us. Uh, fixing our toilet was one of them. It had a small little leak in it, and they couldn't find it. Well, they finally finally found it. It was The bowl was actually cracked a little bit. So uh, then they couldn't find They didn't make replacement parts for that toilet anymore. But uh, they did some research and they found an answer to it and uh, called me Friday and they were able to get the parts. So they're on the way thinking that we can go next weekend if they get it fixed and everything's done. But So this weekend we are going to cut, you probably saw in the last video that we took the mattresses out of the boat. We bought a new 10 inch foam mattress. We're going to set up some saw horses here. Uh, we're going to cut the new foam mattress. We took measurements so we can follow the, uh, you know, we can cut it along the gunwale there and everything will fit nicely. So we're going to do that today. Set up some saw horses, set the old, set the new mattress up, set the old mattress on top of it and then trace around it and cut it, cut it with the angle on it and everything like that. So we'll see how this all goes. So we got this 10 inch. 10 inch king size mattress from Amazon. Last year we tried a well this is the this is the mattress that was on the boat. And it looks fairly new, but it's just a piece of foam. So we we bought a, a three or a four inch topper and it got us through the year. It wasn't very comfortable, but on the cool on the cool change we had we had an eight inch Memory foam. memory foam and it was awesome so uh, this one was a little cheaper on Amazon we're gonna give it a shot but we got to get it you know like I said to cut but we got this tarp out so we don't get grass on the new mattress and foam well, everywhere we're gonna dump it out and see what happens You want to set it on the sawhorses? You can. Before we pull that other plastic off? Yeah, I think that's what this is for. To cut the plastic. Alright. Jen's sister got the same mattress. That's what gave us the idea to get this one. We were able to lay on it at her house. It's pretty comfortable. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long it takes for it to expand. Do you have any idea? Um, I want to say it was supposed to take 24 hours to fully expand. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. But we should be able to start doing some of the carving because we know some of the sizes. Right? Is our active track still working? on this well, we got to put that on this new mattress so you're saying it's too big this way oh. 
Give it a little time, let it fluff out a little more with these big ridges in the center here. So I'm we'll turning back down a little bit. Make an executive call. I'm going to cut those straight edges. Mark these two sides that are going to be angled and put that cut in. Both sides are. You know, so that goes. Put that blade down in there further. I know.
Uh, no, this way. You were creating like a pinch point. Couldn't see. So we got the bottom cut. We put this over. This is the top now. Tracing the bottom of the mattress again. From our measurements, 10 inches high. At this point, on the hole, we're going to be eight inches over. At this point, we're going to be six and three quarter inches over from the bottom. So I'm going to mark the bottom, measure the six and three quarter, measure the eight, cut a line, and then we're going to have to put a board or something on the bottom so that the knife can follow it down there. And then we'll cut it on an angle to follow this top line to keep our knife blade on. Hopefully. That's our thought. I think we're just going to cut it now. It's, it is expanding. And that light blade isn't really long enough to go off. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely expanding. Definitely bigger than the other one. Fingers crossed. Might have to do a little bit of finessing on the boat once we get it out there, but it should be a lot easier dealing with something smaller than it is this ginormous. In order to get the right measurements, like Mark said, we had to get the king size mattress. Mark is uh, working on our diagonal cut to try to follow the angle of the hole. Not quite tall enough to get the right angle and hold it with the same precision. So big out the, bring out the big guns. All right, so here it is, it's cut. It's tough when this, this mattress like almost fully expanded and the blade doesn't reach all the way through and you're trying to do a blind. But I think we did pretty good. You know, it's not pretty, but we're gonna put this cover back on it. Uh, just use this simple electric fisherman here. It went through, I mean, you saw it going through. You can't push it hard, but uh, It'll go through. Just let the knife do the work. 
So we're gonna trim up these corners here once we get it in the boat. But everything else, I mean, John did a nice job. So, so that, you know, once we get the cover on, it's gonna it's gonna cover up all these imperfections. And so, looking forward to some nice, comfortable evenings on the boat. All right, so we have the. Here's the mattress, got a label, the bow. There's a sleeve here that goes over and under, comes underneath. Uh, we had all this on, we did just decided to, we're trying to decide if we should like sew it and make it fit or just tuck it. And then we slid the mattress cover on with the zipper So, I think what we're going to end up doing, we're going to just try it like this, and uh, we're just going to tuck this underneath, you know, almost like a sheet. So we'll put the sheets on, tuck everything underneath the mattress, and kind of go from there. So, here it is all zipped up. They make sheet holder straps. Put it in the corners. So, very first project of the day is going to be fix the bed. Fix the bed. You saw us cut it before. That side looks good. That side looks pretty good, but this side, side we, we, got a, we got to trim that wing down a little bit. But otherwise, everything else fits fairly good. This is a blanket tucking room. So, looks pretty good. So, we're going to tackle this, get that knocked out, and then Jen can make the bed. And, Get ready for the season. Mm -hmm. That was like super easy fix. All we did was we cut off this little wing. Yep, that's it. And I mean, really, we did good. the angle fits in there perfect. And that was from when we cut it in the backyard. So, a couple of simple measurements and away we went. That's it. John's gonna make the bed now. Whoop, whoop. We use this, uh, you saw that at home. He's the little electric pocket fisherman thing to cut it. Works slick as a charm. Oh, good. Round ball left side. So, so, this is the finished product. Looks nice. Decorations up. Yep, trying to get all our decorations up. We got our handmade quilt from Kareen. Handmade quilt from or pi handmade pillow. pillow from Sharon. Trying to get her beach and relax and stuff and. All the dishes have been gone through and washed. Yeah. Everything's wiped down in here. All the drawers are cleaned out. Don't look at my wet, gross towel. Oh, jeez, you're fine. We're in a vacuum, but Jen's saying she doesn't like the... This is just beat. The Where carpet's just dirty. Oh, you're... Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm still working Hi. on this thing. We're getting, don't look in our aft cabin. That's where all the little projects the are stored. The aft cabin, we still got yeah more projects left to do. Storage. So right now it's just storage, but... Eventually it'll look nice and comfy with a little reading nook and... Yep, by summertime that'll be cleaned out. And like Jen said, a little reading nook and stuff. So, it's coming along. Another We're getting there. day of hard work. We're getting there. Yep, we are. So anyway... We'll call it a day. It's Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. Quarter after four. Yep. Anything else you want to say? If you like what we're doing, great. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Yes. If you don't like us, <laughs> <laughs>